The View Exemptions button is on the HOS page and lets you see which exemptions you have available to use today. These may vary depending on your rule set and company's policies, but the two most common ones are Yard Move and Personal Conveyance. You'll want to use Yard Move when you're in a yard and have to move your vehicle over 5 miles per hour. This will keep you in an on duty status instead of taking away your drive time. Personal conveyance can be used to keep you off duty when you're driving on personal time, like if you drive to dinner after checking into a hotel for the night. If you stop somewhere after driving with personal conveyance enabled, the app will put you back into off duty automatically. So make sure that you come back here to apply personal conveyance again when you have to drive back from your stop. To apply any of these, click the Start button. Write an annotation explaining why you're using the exemption, hit Apply, and you can now see this message that the exemption is applied. We can also see that our duty status buttons have been grayed out. One thing about exemptions is that they can't be applied after the fact. You must press the button when you're taking the exemption. If you don't, the logs will show that you were driving, and at that point the best thing to do is annotate your logs. They'll still show violations, but it should be obvious to an inspections officer that this was just a mistake as long as your annotations are clear. Keep in mind that the system does track odometer, so if you're using these exemptions when you shouldn't be, it's going to be pretty obvious. If you make sure that you're selecting your exemptions at the time that you need them, you should be able to altogether avoid inaccurate log violations, having to annotate drive statuses, and hoping the officer is understanding if you get inspected. Hit stop to get out of an exemption, and you'll be put back into one of your regular duty statuses.